Okay. Wait. How are we talking about this show again? People will let it go. You know that I thought it was a joke when I saw it. Like, really? That what a possibility coming back? Yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah. like, does someone, is it April Fool's? Like, what's uh, no, going no, on? No. Like, Just when you thought you were out. Yes. Yeah. Pacino said. Well, you yeah. have um, a lot of congratulations in order. Thank you. So, Only Murders in the Building, season three. All right, yeah. Um, yeah. Back at Grey's to direct and star in an episode. Yeah. Uh, you made a notable New Yorkers list also. Uh -huh. Uh, life is good. Life's good. You know, we're working hard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we're having a good, a good, a good few months. We're doing well. We're happy. We're healthy. So yeah, no complaints. And here we are. And here we are. And here we are. For some reason, we're doing this again. It is uh, not any easier, but it's all the more rewarding to um, look out at those at those audiences, hear and feel them. Uh, be so fulfilled by something we've really poured ourselves and into. And I wanted to ask you about that, because I remember, I mean, we, I feel like we've been talking about this show for 10 years now, yeah. but I think really probably three? Yeah. Probably yeah. three? Yeah. And when we first spoke, you were talking about wanting to do this because it terrified you. Mm -hmm. So what is your reason for wanting to do it second time? It's not really, it's, I guess it's slightly less scary because it's not a great unknown. Um, but it's incredibly demanding and taxing and really for me once we finished I really felt like I knew there was something more like we 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 were starting to peak we were starting to really hit another gear those last few weeks making new discoveries and I found myself just running the lines I found myself on vacation still in the same headspace literally running the scenes as I'm walking or you know on a boat you know it was um so it was still in me and I wanted I, I thought that I also thought I had some perspective of like, what a once in a lifetime opportunity. Yeah. What a rare experience. And to be able to just complete the year and have done this for the better part of a year instead of half of it, um, I can really push myself and see what I can do and see if I could really do a Broadway play for a year, you know, or, or most of it. So, so it's a, it's a self discovery. There's some, you know, some. Uh, self, uh, selfish goals in there as well. I want to push myself and see how high I can climb on that mountain, what it feels like to be that out of breath, what it feels like to go through this holiday season of, of shows we're doing. You're, like, you're crazy. Insane. No days I off know. for like 16 days straight. Like it's inhuman. So we'll see. It's, uh, talk to me then. You see me packing my bags and running for the airport. <laughs> I, I feel like I, after this whole process, like I know you, like not know you, know you, sure, but I've gotten, sure, to, I've gotten to know you on a certain level. Yeah. Would it be safe to say you're a perfectionist? I, yeah, I certainly can be. Yeah. I try to squeeze less tightly sometimes, but yeah, I'm gonna, uh, uh, yeah, I can be a perfectionist. I can be pretty aggressive. Is it then harder or more helpful to be in something and be a part of something you can't watch back? Like you can't watch it back. You can't do it's, a second take. It's better because okay. my it's better for me because my watch back is trying it again tomorrow, and 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 being really present with who I'm doing the scenes yeah. with. That's my watch back is your eyes. Like that's the closest I can get to seeing myself is to yeah. really locking in with somebody. Um, which is incredible training for both life and and for acting in other mediums. Uh, I've done uh, one or two films, uh, I did a film since and a show since and some other things. So acting not on stage, which has always been my norm, it now feels foreign compared to this. Yeah. Especially just doing everything. I, it's funny how being on location in a real atmosphere, in a real environment, doing a gritty indie film or whatever, but shooting out of order and out of place, feels not, not nearly as real as being on a bare stage with a stool that's yeah. doubling for some elaborate location, a stadium. I feel more real in a fake stadium on a stage than I do in a real location because we're doing it, we all both have a gun to our head the whole time. We're both, you know, the stakes are that high. Um, it's, hard, it's hard to express, but uh, I want to I wanna keep my foot on the gas. What do you love about it? You can't, there's nowhere to hide. Yeah. For yourself or anybody else, there's no lying, there's no hiding. It's, it's you got to be really honest with yourself, and and uh, it's a real test on the mind, spirit, and body. This I have to. Um, I don't. And when I've looked like I was in shape on that show, that's not how I look. I'm 42 years old. I got to work my ass off to train like a professional athlete yeah. every single morning and 
eat differently and all the all this rigor that's really really exhausting my body is aching right now yeah. then emotionally what the character goes through it, yeah, I'm it's absolutely empty after every show then the time it requires then the time away from my kids it requires all these things so you're pushing yourself so all those things you know I'm, I'm stronger for it so uh, it ain't the shortcut. Yeah. It ain't the easy route. I gotta let you go. So we just do a rapid fire real quick. Okay, I'm gonna cheat. So for the sake of time, because my memory is not that good. Okay, so we're gonna do some softball questions. Who's got the best warm up routine here? Form? Me. Uh, okay, what's your hype song? Um, you know, it's either so I find myself before a game playing like uh, guitar solos. I gotta listen to. Neil Young and Stevie Ray Vaughan and Hendrix, like it's more easy going, uh, but like during workout and stuff, it's more New York hip hop. It's more Hove and Diplomats and J Ru and stuff. Yeah. So, I like I, I like that. Favorite scene? My favorite scene changes quite a bit. I think my favorite scene might be my first scene with Davy because. I don't know that I figured it out. So I think that that's what intrigues me is like things I haven't quite exactly mastered. So that's my favorite scene right now. This is a ridiculous one. Okay. Best stage door story. Oh God. Um, that you, know, you can tell on TV. <laughs> yeah, that cuts out. That you could tell on TV. <laughs> I was surprised yesterday we had a friends and family show which I thought was just friends and family. So I walked out just to get in my car and my ears were split open by like 30 something screaming. I would say girls, but there was definitely like 15 to 55 there. Um, so I don't know if they even came to the show or they were just there. Um, I, it's really cool to look out and see, I'm certain, looking out at the sea of people that show up at our stage door. A huge percentage of them hasn't been to a Broadway show before. They've come from Chile and Argentina and Nigeria and all these places, and it's their first time seeing a show, so they're going to see others. Like I can, I can see that our show and this assembly is good for the community, um, and I can see that it that it matters to folks. But um, but yeah, you hear you hear really great stories and get really random gifts. Yeah. Oh, oh. yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's the most random gift? Oh, uh, like. Handwritten, handwritten scripts and letters from people who live in completely different countries, um, and I've gotten a whole menu, a whole breakdown of like a clothing line that somebody wanted to do for me. I've gotten a whole random list. Of stuff. Incredible! All right, well, let's just end with why should everyone come see Take Me Out Round Two? Uh, because it's an incredible, one of a kind show that I promise you, you will not regret seeing. I don't regret seeing it. I've seen it 200 times. Um, it's, uh, I've, I've, I've been told it's uh, a hell of a show. It's a hell of a show. Yeah. It's a hell of a show. You know I love it. I love talking to you. I do.